Praise God. Well, this portion of our service is dedicated to our daily bread. It's affectionately known to us here at CCC as ODB. It's a word to be used for your daily devotion. If you would like to download their app, you can do so at odb.org. If you're here in the sanctuary and you would like a physical copy, raise your hands. One of our ushers will get one to you. Expounding on today's ODB is our very own Deacon Tiffany. Good day, church. The uh, passage we're looking at today is found on December 5th, and the title is called Daily Dependence. One morning, our younger kids decided to get up early and fix breakfast for themselves. Tired from a grueling week, my wife and I were trying to sleep until at least 7 a.m. on that Saturday morning. Suddenly, I heard a loud crash. I jumped out of bed and raced downstairs to find a shattered bowl oatmeal all over the floor, and Jonas, our five-year-old, desperately trying to sweep, more like smear, the gooey mess off the floor. My children were hungry, but they chose not to ask for help. Instead of reaching out in dependence, they chose independence, and the result was definitely not a culinary delight. In human terms, children are meant to grow from dependence to independence, but in our relationship with God, maturity means moving from independence to dependence on Him. Prayer is where we practice such dependent ways. When Jesus taught his disciples and all of us who have come to believe in him to pray, he said, give us today our daily bread. He was teaching a prayer of dependence. Bread is a metaphor for sustenance, deliverance, and guidance. We're dependent on God for all of that and more. There are no self-made believers in Jesus and will never graduate from his grace. Throughout our lives, may we always begin our day by taking the posture of dependence as we pray to our Father in heaven. The scripture reading for that is Matthew, I believe it's chapter 6, verses 6 through 13, and I'll be reading through the King James Version. It reads, But thou, when, I pray, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, Pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. But be ye not therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner therefore pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, how would be thy name? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. How many of us are or have been like the young children trying to make breakfast on their own. I mean, it, yeah, you don't want to, it's like something to think about it because sometimes we sit there and we say to God, okay, God, I got this. I'm big, I'm an adult, I got this, I can do this on my own. But God's desire is for us to come to him every day. Amen. When God first kind of put this into uh, practice, I'm looking at Exodus, when he first actually physically gave children, the children of Israel bread, he was talking to Moses and he said, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go about and gather a certain rate every day, that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no. And it shall come to pass, so that on the sixth day thou shall, they shall prepare that which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily." So God gave Moses instructions, and Moses gave the instructions to the people, and he told them, listen, take enough for each day. So I look, this is actually found in Exodus 16. If you go a little bit further to the um, 
verse 17, it says, And the children of Israel did so, and gathered some more and some less. And when they did meet it with an omer, he that gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no lack. And they gathered every man according to his eating. And Moses said, Let no man leave of it till the morning. Notwithstanding, they hearkened not unto Moses, but some of them left it until the morning, and it bred worms and stank, and Moses was wroth with them. Which means he was upset. Like, God gave specific instruction and said, listen, I'm giving you enough for today. Take enough for each day. And then he said, the Sabbath day is a day of rest where I want you to, you know, be at peace and be at rest with me. So take enough for the two days. And interestingly enough, when they did that and they took twice for the second day, then when God told them to, it didn't get stink and it didn't have worms because they were obedient to what God said. And, you know, some of us, we don't take the daily bread that God is offering. We go and we get bread once a week or once a month. We are, like, when you do that, you're spiritually malnourished. And God is giving us bread, daily bread, for each day. The, day. the bread for today is not the bread for Friday. The bread for today is not for Wednesday, it's for today. It's what we need, uh, the strength, the grace, the favor, the mercy that we need for today. So I just wanted to remind us that we need to go before God and get our daily bread every day.